Hello. Um, we're going to continue our uh, series of lectures uh, on bioreactors. Um, last time we uh, looked at the chemostat um, and the steady state uh, conditions, which basically means that we suppose that uh, the concentration of X of cells and the concentration of S of the substrate does not change with time. Uh, it simplified a lot uh, the equations. Uh, in this lecture, we're going to look at um, numerical methods um, to simulate uh, the behavior before the steady state, which is the transient behavior. We're basically going to show that, indeed, uh, the concentration of cells and the concentration of substrate uh, will go to a constant in this kind of system. Before we get to that, let's uh, remind ourselves of uh, the system we're looking at. Um, and some of the simplifications we made to make the equations uh, less uh, complex. So we have the chemostat, uh, which is basically a CSTR uh, uh, reactor, uh, completely stirred tank reactor. So we have a completely stand reactor with a completely stirred re tank reactor with a constant volume V um, and with uniform concentration anywhere in, in the reactor. That's what CSTR stands for. Um, for cells, it's X, and for the substrate, it's S. And the reactor gets an inflow of, uh, that mainly contains the substrate. It doesn't contain any cells with a flow rate F. And coming out of the reactor, uh, the outflow, it has the same flow rate F, and uh, it comes with uh, similar concentrations in the reactor of X and S. Um, we also have to remind ourselves of some of the uh, some of some of the uh, the uh, kinetic and uh, stoichiometric parameters we we uh, need for the model. Um, so for the growth rate, uh, um, for the growth, we are using the exponential model. Uh, we are using uh, the exponential growth. So that means that we're supposing that the change in X uh, is a function of the growth rate times the concentration of X. Uh, mu is uh, the growth rate. And that's when uh, one hour, hours. Uh, X is in gram per liter. Um, and we're also using uh, the monode equation to uh, re relate uh, mu with the concentration of S. Uh, so mu equal mu max, that's the uh, uh, maximum growth rate, it's a constant, um, times the concentration of uh, substrates in the reactor, and Ks is uh, the half saturation uh, the half saturation constant, um, which have the same unit as S. Um, we also need uh, the yield um, yxs which is basically delta of x over delta of s um, gram per cells per gram of uh of uh of substrate um uh what do we need uh we need also to define the dilution rate uh g uh, has the same unit as mu um that's uh flow rate over volume that's liter per hour over uh, liters, so that will give uh, uh, all right. I think we've got uh, now uh, all what we need for uh, the rest of the equations. So we can uh, write the mass balance here for uh, we can start uh, looking at uh, the mass balance um, for cells. That's for x. Um, mass, uh, the mass of x is x times v. So we're looking at dx uh, over dt. Um, that's in minus out plus what's generated minus what's degraded. Um, to simplify the system, uh, we're supposing that uh, there no cells are coming in the system and uh, the debt of cells is, ne uh, is negligible, so we're going to neglect it. So that uh, leaves us with uh, Fx uh, uh, plus what's generated, that's the growth. Uh, the only reaction is the growth. That's m uh, mu x uh, times v. Uh, v is a constant, so we can get it out. Um, so that 
v d the x over dt equals minus fx plus mu x v uh, we multiply by 1 over v uh, 1 over v uh, so that will give us um, a simplification of v from here and uh, this is equal to d um, so uh, we end up with uh, dx over dt equal minus uh, mu mu minus g um, times x if we differentiate this um, so we get delta x over uh, delta t equals uh, mu minus g x um, which gives uh, delta sorry delta x equals mu minus g um, times x the whole thing times delta t and this equation is really important we're gonna be using it uh, later on so uh, this gives us uh, the amount this is the uh, the amount or the mass see you see if you prefer um, amount of x produced during uh, delta t um, which will allow us to uh, calculate we, we we accumulate this delta x and, and so we can we can get um, the concentration of x uh, at different times before we get to that we uh, we can look now at uh, the mass balance for uh, mass balance for substrate for s um, it's the same thing so it's v t to s over dt equals f s zero because that's what goes in we have uh minus what goes out fs um and uh there's no generation so we're just looking at um what's been uh consumed by the uh the cells uh, and that's uh can be converted to uh, the concentrations of, of substrate using the yield so if uh uh, we multiply by 1 over V and replace and uh, replace um, with uh, G so we get um, del GS over DT is equal to um, G um, times S0 minus S minus mu X over E y x s if we differentiate um that gives us delta s over uh, delta t equals to g s zero minus s minus mu x uh, over y x s uh, which gives us uh, delta s is equal to um gs times uh, gs minus s0 minus mu over yxs um, x this whole thing times delta t and this is a uh, the amount of substrate that is uh, uh, consumed or uh, added to the to the uh, to the reactor uh, for uh, delta t for interval delta t so now we have these two equations um, we have these two equations uh, that we can use um, 
to estimate uh, each and every one of, of, uh, of for each interval of, of delta t, we can estimate how much um, we, we uh, produce, uh, how much change is, is there in terms of delta x and delta s. Um, the increase and the decrease is going to depend. Uh, it, it, it can be, you know, uh, either consumed or, or, or added. So we're going to see that a little more. So uh, before we set up the, the, the spreadsheet, um, so what we're going to do um, is uh, create a, a column for time um, in hours. Uh, we're going to create a column for mu. And we're going to calculate uh, delta S. Then we're going to have S. Then we can calculate uh, delta X, and then we can calculate X. Um, we're going to start with zero. Um, time zero, um, we start with any value here. You uh, uh, have to be careful uh, uh, to not call this S0. Um, we are going to call it uh, SI, like uh, S initial, um, and we're going to have here X initial. Um, that's the, the, con the initial concentration in the reactor, XI. And for the first delta T, um, we're going to start by uh, computing the value of mu, because uh, mu is dependent on the concentration of, of, of S. So mu is going to be uh, equal to mu max, that's a constant, times SI, which is the value here. SI um, over KS plus SI. Once we have uh, mu, uh, we, we have a G, so we can uh, calculate uh, uh, based on, on, on the equation we have here. Um, so we, we can estimate uh, delta SI, and delta SI basically is going to be uh, G times uh, S0 minus SI. I can probably write that down here. Um, so that's going to be G uh, S0 minus SI. Minus uh, mu over, uh, so we're going to call this one mu i, uh, so we have a value for it, so mu i, um, mu i over uh, y x s times x i. So this is the delta s i. Once we have delta S i, S, S is equal to uh, S i plus delta S i. So S1, the concentration at the first uh, T1 equal delta T. And we have choices for delta x. Either we can use the equation we have here, um, so uh, for uh, delta x, we can use the equation we have uh, over there, which is equal to. Uh, uh, D minus mu minus mu times um, x i times delta t. We can also just uh, 
we can use uh, just uh, delta si uh, over y xs that converts the substrate we have calculated to delta x we are left with uh, x1 now x1 is uh, just xi plus um, delta um, xi that's what I, I calculated here so that will give us the different uh, maybe uh, put it in different colors um, so this is how we find x1 and this is how we find uh, s1 and that's using um, delta of uh, xi and delta of si and uh, the next iteration we do the same thing we are going to repeat the iterations uh, as many times as we want um, until well in, in our case until we see that s and x uh, are constant so we're going to see that in uh, maybe a more practical sense in uh, in the next part uh, using a spreadsheet